Hey, it's me, Anna, and today I wanted to get into um, my AP Studio Art portfolio. I got the top score, which is a five, which is like so insane. Basically, this is my first five that I've ever gotten. I've done two AP classes before this year, and that is AP Human Geography that I got a four, and AP European History that I got a three, and. Uh, this year I did AP Stewart, AP Environmental Science, and AP English Language. I'm really, really happy that I got a five. So let's just get into what I did. So we're gonna start out with, start out with breath, which is just basically showing a range of what you can do. And with my class, we had basically assigned things, um, assigned materials or assigned like concepts. And yeah, we're gonna get into that. I'm sorry, buddy, I'm gonna have to put you down. This is my first piece. And it is basically about like a child bride. Um, I think this was supposed to be about a social issue. But I honestly don't even remember anymore. <laughs> it's been too long. This is about a child bride, um, and she's dreaming about. Sorry, there's such a bad reflection. She's dreaming about how her life would have changed if she had had a, an education, which is like an it's like an important issue to me. And I was learning about it like over and over this year. I just kept her hearing over and over about like um, child marriages and stuff like that, and how easily they can be like prevented with increased education of, of girls and so I thought that was an important issue and this is what I did. This is watercolor and the original one is like sepia tone-ish and then I digitally colored it and I printed it out and framed it so that's what you have here. Okay so this is also one of my favorites. Um, I entered this into a few contests I titled it for the contest Flirting with Death. It's This assignment was just like, we had to draw our partner's hands basically with a prop from the room and my teacher just happened to have like a full skeleton in the corner so yeah that's why we did this. I think it's, it's, I think it's really pretty and it's like super detailed. Oh by the way this isn't Copic markers. I love Copic markers but I can't afford them because I'm broke. But anyway, um, this is just gray tones. I have only gray tones and Copic markers and then a few skin tones just to spice it up. But um, other than that, Copic markers are really expensive so I don't have any more. The next one I'm going to show you, I don't have any more because I entered it in an auction at the very beginning of the year. I think this was maybe my second painting in the class. Um, her, I don't know. I don't even remember anymore. It was just a painting that I did off of, um, of like a model, like a picture um, that I found, and it's not all that original, but it's good. It shows my painting skills, like in black and white, and my eye for detail. And I, I really loved it when I did it, and I still do. It's really nice. It's just not that like original and. Um, most of my paintings are more original than that. The next one I also don't have because I gave it to my grandpa because he's all about agriculture and, and stuff like that. But it is a picture of peppers that I did in colored pencil. And I don't know, this was also a assignment to do a cross section and a full of peppers just like stacked however we wanted them. And, I don't know, I kind of had a little bit of fun with arranging the peppers and stuff like that. And cutting them and being creative with what I could do on the inside. Um, and I love how it, how waxy it came out. Um, it looks, they, I don't know, they look like really realistic because of how wax, waxy Prismacolor color pencils are. Um, but, honestly, this was the least fun, like, to do because I was just like, why am I drawing peppers? It's not, like, it's not what I normally do. I, I don't like it. And also because we were drawing from real peppers, it started to stink after a few days because they were getting rotten. So, um, fun fact, that's what you do in AP Studio Art if you're about to take it. 
Um, no, just kidding. I don't know if anybody else does that. I'm not really sure why I did this, but me at the time thought this, this would be like a good idea. And it was, honestly, it was a good idea, but I don't know why I'm so extra. So our assignment for this one was a barcode. So I used like the lines in a barcode to be like jail cells. And it's, I guess like overall, it's the, the idea is like you're a slave to like um, consumerism and, and like capitalism and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, <laughs> it's, this was a digital drawing and then I printed it out on like just uh, like a big piece of printer paper. And then, um, but I printed it backwards. And then I put like acrylic gel onto the wood and then I put it down like facing the wood and then I let it sit overnight and then you just use water and like rub it off which is really weird but um, it worked all of these little white things that scraped off were completely accidental but um, all my friends thought they weren't so shh, just kidding um, but yeah all of this white stuff wasn't really meant to come off but I think it added like a really cool texture thing to it so this one I, I like but it's not one of my favorites this is the next one um, this was my final for the first semester and we had to do it in two hours we we're doing a live drawing and this was my friend Eden um, she was just kind of sitting up there on the table you know minding her own business <laughs> reading a book while we all drew her and um, we had to work with charcoal, so this is actually only white charcoal. I didn't use any other kind of uh, colors on black paper, and I, I really like how this one came out. But it's more, it's more like sketchy, and I love that I did like an outline thing. But you know, I, it's not, it's not the best. But the sweater I think is really detailed. I really like the sweater part because you can see my eye for detail in it, and then you can also see my like design elements in the hands and how they're not completely realistic. So yeah. Next up, we have something that actually just came from my sketchbook, and the assignment was uh, one object in three different lighting. So I did this because at the beginning of the year I was really extra, and I actually like took the time to do well on my sketchbooks. But this is my ukulele, and I honestly I just really like how you know the design and everything of this came out. And uh, this is um, brush markers um, by Windsor and Newton, I think. And then the white is just a white jelly roll pen, and yeah, that's what this is. The next one is also something from my sketchbook, because with my breadth, I, I did every single one, but I didn't like some of them, and some of my sketchbooks were actually, like, better, so I just cut them out of my sketchbook and used them, which you can totally do, like, it, it's fine. But anyway, this one is of me and my dog, Buddy, which you just saw at the beginning of this video, but uh, this is just pencils. Yeah, just sketch pencils. I don't know, I think it's really detailed and, and cute because dogs are cute, obviously. Okay, the next one is one that I framed and I put up in my room. And the frame just fell apart again. Anyway, we're gonna just pretend that didn't happen. This one is just an observation of shoes that's also in charcoal. And for this one I used like a, a range of different charcoals and white charcoal and everything like that. But um, basically we just brought shoes to school and we piled them up with all of our friends' shoes and stuff like that, and we just drew them. Um, this one took like a while. Like I remember staying up a lot of nights to do it before it was due, because the first semester I turned in everything like the day it was due, which is crazy. Because second semester I like stopped caring that much, and I would turn everything in at least a few days late. <laughs> Yeah, this this one this one is a scratch board, which is like one of like three or four scratch boards that I did actually the whole year. Uh, one of two that ended up in my portfolio. But um, this one is of a girl, and this one is actually the second one that I did for this assignment. The first one I'll insert here somewhere. Um, I actually really liked the first one because I thought it was really cool and designy. But I am doing the drawing portfolio, so. Um, that wasn't exactly a great fit and my teacher was just like, 
no. I know your standard and you can do better. That was one of the only times she literally made me redo an assignment. And I had so much to do that week. I remember I was doing like three other things and she was just like, okay, well, if you have time, go buy a $15 scratch board and do it over. So I did and I was actually really happy with this because she looks super glowy and I did freckles and scratch board which is so hard but I had knew, I mean I knew I was taking a risk when I did it and I, I am so happy that I did because I love how detailed it is and how glowy her skin looks and I don't know I love scratch board it's just temperamental but if you want to try it you're gonna get like a great piece in the end and people will like love it because scratch board's cool you know who wouldn't like something that is scratching out the white out of black? Like, that's just a cool concept, like, to begin with, so. This one is kind of like an anatomical drawing of a heart, which I think is also a little bit more 2D design, but I did it, I did drawing, so, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> this assignment was just a rope. Okay, so, fun fact, I am a rebel. It was just supposed to be a, a like a study of a rope in our hand and I got so, t I actually was like halfway through the thing and I got so tired of it, I was just like, no, I don't want to do this anymore. So I did this instead, um, cause I don't know, I'm an emotional person, but anyway, it's just tugging, I, I think I titled it tugging on my heartstrings, but um, it's just two people pulling on, on a heart. I entered this one into a lot of competitions too. Um, yeah, so that one's that. Oh, this is acrylic, and then the small lines are micron pen. This one is a digital drawing. It's called A Little Observer, and, um, this is printed on a canvas. This is a big version of the one that I actually sent in for quality, but this is, this was in my breadth. And um, this is actually my fish tank. And then I put a picture of a little girl behind it. And these are my two fish. One of them is dead now, <laughs> rest in peace fish. And um, so the assignment for this piece was that we had to incorporate goldfish, eyeglasses, a magnifying glass, and a hot air balloon. And I think I got everything. So the goldfish obviously are right here. Glasses are right here, magnifying glasses right here, and the hot air balloon is a picture that she dropped into the tank. So that was my breath. That took a long time. And now we're gonna go to concentration. Hopefully my camera doesn't die by the end of this. Alright guys, I'm back. Okay, so the first painting I didn't really like that much while I was doing it, but afterwards everybody was like, wow, that's best thing ever and I was like oh okay this is it um this is a picture of my cousin Piper that was done by a photographer who is my friend who I model for sometimes but um yeah this is Piper um the name okay, the name of the painting is Catherine because that's what I named this character and this whole my concentration was like the story of a life through different human interactions with other people and emotions and objects and different things. So basically like human interactions telling the story of a life. But yeah, this is the main kind of character which is the mom and her name is Catherine. I'm not going to remember all the names of all the people because they weren't that important so um, yeah. The next one is one that I actually really hated and I still kind of don't like. This is the same person, Catherine, and she is in a, a lake. I really wanted to use like some kind of a reflection in the water, and I thought it was going to come out really nice. But um, yeah, the the <laughs> this face is fine. Like to me, like I'm okay. I'm happy with this side, but the reflection looks like her evil twin sister or something. Especially when you turn it sideways, it looks so bad. But um. Just don't do that and it'll be fine. Her wedding to a guy and I completely blanked on the guy's name. But um this is also on scratchboard, which I really liked. 
this was done with a tool that Scratchboard made, like the company, and it's like a fine scratcher, but it's made out of like plexiglass or something like that, or like micro something. I don't know. So the tool is what made all these swirly things and what made the dress like this. These little fine lines are just a regular scratcher, but this like flat white was done by the fine scratch thing. And let me tell ya, that guy is a mess. Um, I mean, I would recommend it if you're okay with like dealing with little tiny pieces of glass going into your skin all over and like injuring you for the next two weeks. But the next one I forgot to get, but um, I get, I'll just put it here because I'm too tired to get up and get it. This is a picture of my great grandpa that I did digitally after he passed away. And this is supposed to be the guy in the story that she just married. And um, you can tell because he has a ring on a finger. But um, yeah, I wanted to look kind of vintage because it was based off of an actual photograph of my great grandpa from like 1943 or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I thought that was kind of cool to incorporate that. The next one is the same woman pregnant. I did this one in oil. And I really let. Oh, by the way, the first one was in acrylic. The second one was also in acrylic. This one is an oil paint, and I think this is one of the, like, the first ones I was like dabbling in actual oil paint because I kind of hate oil paint, but I like kind of love it. I did, did like a completely wet background, and then I did details as it dried, and I really like how smooth it is. It's kind of like impressionist, um, but it has like some bumps. I don't know. I I like this one. It's really simple, and but it, it captures a moment really nicely, and I like it. The next one is one of my favorites, and it is the babies. These are the twin girls. I can't remember the names either, but uh, one of them has brown eyes and one of them has blue eyes, and yeah, that's basically the only <laughs> difference. Um, yeah, this one is like super smooth. I think this is like the flattest painting that I have. And this is acrylic, by the way. Okay, what's up, guys? New angle and new quality. I'm going to film the rest on my phone because my camera keeps dying. And I don't have enough patience to wait for it to charge. So you're just going to get slightly less quality from now on. Um, so the next one I also don't have because it went to a competition and it got third place. It was the congressional art competition. Um, so because it got third place, it is in the office of my congressman and it's just going to be chilling there for a year. So, um, this is it. It is, I forgot what it, oh, I called it Tiny Tears because there was a doll called Tiny Tears. And that kind of just reminded me of this because it's like, um, one of the twin girls, the blue-eyed one, is crying and it just kind of uh, represents her, um, struggle with emotions. Alright, so the next one is both of them together. So this one kind of mimics the first one of the babies together because they are in the same spots and I'll pull up that one so you can compare. So this one is in oil and I really did not like this one and I still kind of like it's not my favorite it's not the, my least favorite basically with this one I did a blue underpainting uh, in acrylic and then I did oil on top and it made it really textured underneath and I really like that about it because it's smooth on top but there's texture underneath and my favorite part about this painting are the leaves honestly because I think they're really smooth and I think that fits a leafy texture the next one I did was a little bit rushed um, near the end because I was just, just trying to produce more and more quality artwork and it was getting a little bit overwhelming. So, I mean, it wasn't rushed, it was just a, a quick drawing and um, I'm fine with that. This is the print of it. It's a digital drawing that I did on the iPad Pro on um, Sketchbook Pro, the app. And I really like that app, by the way. So if you're going to do digital drawing on an iPad, you should use that. Whoa, the lighting is doing weird things. It doesn't actually have anything white in this corner. It's just clouds in the background. But um, this one is 
the brown eyed twin and her best friend and they're holding hands and it's just showing like human interaction okay so the next one is actually the last one because i did two zoom ins which is like pretty hard to do and and still get a five so i'm kind of like shocked that i did i i thought that i was gonna get four because i did two zoom ins but um the, i think those zoom ins were on the one of my great grandpa and the one of hyper i think i can't honestly remember now but um Basically, you can do zoom-ins to show detail, or you can also um, insert, like, progress drawings. You can do anything that's not completely, like, finished if you want, but if you do too much of that, it might, like, degrade your score because then you're not doing, like, that much. Like, you should be doing 12 pieces, and I ran out of time, which is a mistake, and I won't do that next year, so, yeah. This is the last one in my concentration. And this is going back, oh, this is huge, this is bigger than I thought it was, but um, this is going back to the original woman who had the babies and got married and everything, and this is her, like, braiding her hair um, as an old lady, and basically, the idea behind this picture is that the blue-eyed twin died, and um, this is basically um, the family having to go back to doing teen things after a tragedy like that happens and it's one of the things you don't really think about when you think of like someone dying it's just like some of the hardest parts is just like you have to take care of yourself you have to practice hygiene you have to be doing the normal stuff in your life after stuff like that happens and it's hard because you're you don't you don't want to like think about anything else you know so this kind of represents that in the story, and it's just, you know, just a story of life and living and stuff like that. Here, I'll enter my quality. Okay, so yeah, that was my AP Studio Art breadth, concentration, and quality for my AP portfolio for the drawing portfolio. Just to give you an idea of what the AP graders are expecting, kind of. Honestly, I still don't know what they're expecting. So, just an example of what you can do to get a five, and um, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys like this and my art, and you can find it useful for things to think about when you're um, thinking about AP Studio Art. Okay, bye.